Health experts are learning more about the lung illness pneumonitis and it's linked to vaping. Just this year, the number of cases has reached 1,300 nationwide and at least 26 people have died. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Moncrease is outside Baptist Memorial with tonight's local health alert. Brittany. Well, Katina, pneumonitis can look like a number of things, but one thing that doctors know for sure is that those who have been diagnosed lately have had a history of vaping or using e-cigarette products. Across the country, doctors have been connecting the dots between vaping and e-cigarette products and the lung illness pneumonitis. We do think it's a relatively new uh, phenomenon. Um, we don't know how long it's been going on, but it's just been recognized this year. Dr. Jeff Wright with Baptist Memorial has treated patients who've suffered moderate to severe cases of the illness. He says until this year, doctors have actually had trouble diagnosing the illness. It can look just like a pneumonia, uh, or, and then there are really hundreds of different things that can cause pneumonitis. So uh, it can look like a lot of other things. But they've tied many of these cases to vaping using THC and CBD oils. We don't really understand what's causing the pneumonitis, except that the common link is the use of uh, e-cigarettes or vaping devices. With most patients being young or middle-aged, doctors are concerned about the possible long-term health risks. We don't know the long-term effects. Uh, we do know that you're basically taking a, a heated chemical vapor of frankly often unknown and sometimes dubious origin uh, and inhaling it into your lungs. Now, pneumonitis is not contagious. However, you can get it from secondhand vaping and e-cigarette products. Doctors say that if you are diagnosed with medicine and time, your body can heal itself. Live outside Memo Baptist Memorial in East Memphis, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News. All right.